Hey guys, welcome back. So today we will do a basic review of adding fractions with common or uncommon denominator. And a key takeaway for adding fractions is that your denominators must be the same. Let's look at this example, one over five plus three over five. Since my denominators are the same, they both are five, then I can go ahead and add my numerator. One plus three is gonna give me four, and my denominator is gonna stay the same, and that's gonna be five. A common mistake is to do one over five plus three over five and to add a cross to get four over 10. This is not the answer. You do not add your denominators. Let's try one over eight plus two over eight. Notice my denominators are the same, so I can go ahead and add. So one plus two is three, and this is gonna give me three over eight. What about two over five? plus one over four. In this example here, notice my denominators are not the same. So since my denominators are not the same, I need to make them the same. And the best way to do this is to find a common denominator. So I'm gonna write my five here and my four here, and we're gonna look for a common denominator. So let's get all the multiples of five. So we have five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Let's just stop here for now. And for my fours, we have four times one is four, four times two, eight, four times three is 12, four times four is 16, uh, four times five is 20. The common multiple between five and four is 20. I have a 20 here for the five, and I also have a 20 here for my four. So I can use the number 20 for my new denominator. So let's go back to my original problem here. Let's look at the two over five. Remember, we need to get the number 20 in our denominator. So this is the number that we're looking for in my denominator. How can I get 20 in my denominator if I have a five? Well, we just checked here. If I do one, two, three, four, five times four is gonna give me 20. So I'm gonna multiply top and bottom here by four. I'm gonna multiply my numerator by four and my denominator by four. Now let's look at one over four. I need to get 20 in my denominator. So if I do one, two, three, four, five, if I multiply four times five, that's gonna give me a 20 in my denominator. So I'm gonna multiply top and bottom by five. All right, so now let's go ahead and multiply and then we're going to add. So we have four times two, this is going to give me eight. And then we have four times five, this is 20. Ding, 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 remember, this is what we want. We need to get 20 in my denominator and this is what we have here, so that's a good start. Now we have one times five, that's five. And then four times five is also 20. So this is perfect. Remember, we need to get the common denominator so that we can add our fractions. And since I have 20 in my denominator here, I'm going to go ahead and add my numerator. So eight plus five is going to give us a 13. And then your denominator is 20. So your final answer is 13 over 20. Let's try three over five plus three over five. My denominators are the same, so I'm going to add my numerators. I have five here, five here, so I'm gonna add my numerator. Three plus three is six over five. Your final answer is six over five. Let's try one over two plus four over five. So notice my denominators are not the same, so that means I need to find a common denominator. So I'm gonna write my two here so I can list the multiples of two and my five here because I need to list the multiples of five. So let's start with two. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, and then 12. Let's list the multiples of five. So we have five, 10, 15, and 20. We'll stop here for now. And looking at my two and my five, my common denominator is a 10. So that means I need to have the number 10 in my denominator so that we can add. So I'm gonna set up our new problem here. So first let's start with one over two. What number can I multiply my denominator with that's going to give me 10 in my denominator? And let's look here, we have one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna multiply top and bottom by five. 
If we're going to go over here. We have four over five now. What number can I multiply with? I have one, two. I can multiply top and bottom by two. That's going to give me 10 in my denominator. All right, so now let's multiply. Five times one is five. Five times two is 10. Perfect. Four times two is eight. And then you have five times two is 10. Now that my denominators are the same, I'm going to add. So five plus eight is going to give us 13. And then you have your 10. However, just looking at this example here, this is an example of an improper fraction. So we're going to simplify this. Your numerator is bigger than your denominator, so that makes it an improper fraction. So we're going to simplify. I'm going to divide 10 on the outside and my 13 on the inside. 10 goes into 13 one time. 10 times 1 is 10. 13 minus 10 is going to give me a 3. The answer is going to be 13 over 10 or, because we're simplifying, this is going to be 1 because my quotient is here. And then we have 3 from my remainder over 10 from my divisor. So your final answer is 13 over 10 or 1 and 3 tenths. So 4 over 5 plus 6 over 7. So notice here that my denominators are not the same, so I do need to find the common denominator. So 5 and 7, I'm going to list the multiples of 5 and 7. Now there is a shortcut you can use. You can just multiply your 5 times your 7, and that's going to give you 35. So you can do 5 times 7 is 35. So 35 is going to be your common denominator. I honestly do not like doing it this way. I actually like looking for the common denominator because sometimes you do have larger numbers that you're dealing with and it's always easier to deal with smaller numbers. All right. So multiples of 5, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 5 times 7 is 35. 5 times 8 is 40. And I'll stop here for now. Now let's list the multiples of 7. So we have 7, 7 times 2, 14, 7 times 3, 21, 7 times 4, 28. And then you have 7 times 5, that's 35. And I'll stop here for now. So notice we do have a common multiple. We already said it was 35. So this is your common multiple here. So I know I need to get 35 in my denominator. So let's start here, 4 over 5. What number, if I multiply my 5 with in my denominator, that's going to give me 35. So let's see, we did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 5 times 7 is going to give me 35 in my denominator. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 7. All right, so let's look here. 6 over 7, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If I multiply top and bottom by 5, I'm going to get 35 in my denominator. So it's perfect. So let's start here. 7 times 4 is 28. 7 times 5, we're going to get 35. And then we have 6 times 5, that's 30. And then you have 7 times 5 is 35. Now that my denominators are the same, I'm going to add my numerators. So 28 plus 30, 28 plus 30 is going to give us 58 as our answer. So my numerator, I'm going to get 58. And then my denominator is going to be 35. But guess what? We have an improper fraction. And remember what improper fractions are is when your numerator on top is larger than your denominator. So my 58 is larger than my 35. So let's go ahead and turn that into a mixed number. So let's create some space. So we have 35 on the outside and we have 58 on the inside. 35 goes into 58 one time. 35 times one is 35. 58 minus 35 is going to give us a 23. All right, so let's go ahead and simplify. So we have 58 over 35. Or you're going to get 1, which is from here, 23 over 35. So these are your answers here. Let's try 3 over 10 plus 2 over 3. 
So notice here, my denominators are not the same. So I do need to find the common denominator. And remember, like I said in the previous example, you can just multiply your 10 times your three. This is going to give you 30. So at least I know my common denominator is 30. Let's look at our multiples of 10. So we have 10, 20, 30, and 40. And we'll stop here for now. And then for my three, we have three, six, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, and 30. And these are the multiples of 3. 30 is our common multiple, so we know that we need to have 30 in our denominator. So let's start here, 3 over 10. What number do I need to multiply my 10 with to get 30 in my denominator? So let's see, we have 1, 2, 3. If I multiply this by three, I'm going to get 30 in my denominator. So whatever I do to my denominator, I'm gonna to do to the numerator as well. So let's look here, two over three. I need to multiply the three by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I need to multiply the two over three by 10. So now let's multiply, three times three is nine. 3 times 10 is 30. Perfect, because we need to get 30 in our denominator. Let's look over here. 2 times 10 is 20. And then you have 3 times 10 is 30. Now that my denominators are the same, I'm going to add my numerator. So 9 plus 20 is 29. And then that's going to be over 30. So I do not need to simplify any further. So this is my final answer. Let's try three over seven plus two over seven. My denominators are the same, so I'm going to add my numerators. So this is gonna equal three plus two is five, and that's gonna be over seven. So my final answer is five over seven. What about one over 12 plus five over 12? My denominators are the same, so I'm going to add my numerators. 1 plus 5 is 6, that's going to be over 12, or you simplify this into 1 over 2, because if you do 6 divided by 6, that's going to give you 1, and then if you do 12 divided by 6, that's going to give you 2. What about 7 over 21 plus 10 over 21? I can just add my numerators because my denominators are the same. So I have 7 plus 10, that's going to give me 17. That's going to be over 21. I cannot simplify any further. So your final answer is 17 over 21. So let's try 1 over 6 plus 5 over 12. And notice here, my denominators are not the same. So that means I need to find a common denominator. So we're going to list the multiples of 6 and 12. So for my 6, we have 6, 12, 18 and 24. We'll stop here for now. And then for my 12, we have 12, 24, and 36. And we'll stop here for now. So between these two, the common multiple that I can use, the lowest common multiple is going to be the 12s. So I need to make sure I have 12 in my denominator. Now remember, like I said before, you can multiply 6 times 12, and this is going to give you 72. So another multiple that you can use is the number 72. Our lowest common multiple is going to be the number 12. So I know I need to get 12 in my denominator. So let's look here. We have 1 over 6. What do I need to multiply with to get a 12 in my denominator? So if I look at my 6, I do 1, 2. I need to multiply top and bottom by 2. And that's going to give me 12 in my denominator. Let's look here, 5 over 12. What do I need to multiply with to get a 12 in my denominator? And 1, okay? You can just leave it like this because I already have a 12 in my denominator. You can just write 5 over 12 or you can just multiply by a 1. So let's multiply. 2 times 1 is going to give me 2. 2 times 6 is 12. 5 times 1 is 5, and then 12 times 1 is 12. Now that my denominators are the same, I can go ahead and add my numerator. So 2 plus 5 is 7, and that's going to be over 12. So your final answer 
is 7 over 12. But you could have also used 24 as a multiple or even the 72. So you could have used the 12, the 24, or the 72 as your common multiple. So what if you did use the number 72? Let's look at that example here. So let's say you did use 72 and you need to get 72 in your denominator. So let's do, I'm going to multiply here, top and bottom here by 12, because I know if I multiply 12 times six, that's gonna give me 72. And then on this side here, my five over 12, I'm gonna multiply top and bottom by six. So if I did 12 times one, that's gonna give me 12 over 12 times six, that's 72 plus five times six is 30 over 12 times six is 72. Now my denominators are the same, so I'm going to add my numerators. So we have 12 plus 30, that's gonna give us 42. So I'm gonna write 42, that's gonna be over 72. And you see how my fraction here is a large fraction. So I do need to simplify this. I'm going to simplify this. 42 divided by six is going to give me a seven. And if I did 72 divided by six, that's going to give me a 12. So you do get the same answer, but you will most likely need to simplify your answer. And again, remember, it doesn't matter which multiple you use when you are looking for the common denominator, you could have used a 12, 24, or 72. It's easier to use the lowest common multiple. All right, so that is all for today, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.